Hello witches and magical kindreds, I'm Kim and this is my channel, The Way of the Witch. Today I'll be unboxing the Witch's Moon May Box, the Earthen Vessel, Celtic Tree Edition. And as always, first thing out of the box is my personalized oracle reading. And for you as well, this is Submerge. It's from the Divine Nature Oracle Deck by Angie Sullins, and the art is by Greg Spalinka. Throughout each transition of the year, we find seeds of change. Our lives, as we currently know and understand it, is at a constant crossroad facing never-ending transformation. As practitioners, we embrace this flow and call upon its movement to carry us through to vibrant and purposeful experiences. Through this beautiful craft, we are better able to understand these transitions and work with the natural cycles to bring good into our world and into the world of others. We find connections with everything that surrounds us and come to realize that we are one with all universal energies. In addition to the Celtic tree horoscope artwork, we also have the Celtic tree calendar. Next, a bag of white pine bark. Known for portraying qualities of peace and harmony, white pine bark continues to be one of the most resilient additions to workings during this time. And next, the Double Vitality Ritual Herbal Tea. I did not want to open it because I want to keep it fresh, but I do see that this Ritual Herbal Tea has been created with rose hips, elderberry, and hibiscus. And in this bag, the Watcher of the Willow Sacred Salt. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. As you resonate with the earthly ingredients of this sacred salt, take time to ponder and connect. Allow the energies of the willow to bring you glimpses of fresh insight and redefine purpose. We have enchanted this sacred salt with cedar wood and pine oils as well as white pine, oak, and willow bark. And next, the Guardian of the Trees Pewter Pendant with Cord. This beautiful Guardian of the Trees Pewter Pendant with Cord has been exclusively created for this very collection. On the back of this pendant, you will find the following inscription, As the mighty greenwood tree, protected, grounded, connected be. As you wear this pendant, allow its symbolism to resonate with your journey. Be intentional about setting time aside to reconnect and reground yourself. Relax and remind yourself of your place in this beautiful natural world. my favorite sandalwood ritual incense sticks well they call it Santa Loom, but on the paperwork it does say that this is sandalwood and an Earthly Abundance Spell Charm Bag with a smoky quartz tumbled stone, a pewter triquatra acorn affirmation charm. I love this so much. And it says grow abundance on the back of it. And also some barks, the willow bark, oak bark, birch bark, white pine, and some elderberry. This is a great little charm bag. And as always, a beautiful beeswax hand-rolled candle. This one, the Everlasting Stand Spell Candle. And they say it's been anointed with juniper, cedarwood, and sandalwood oils. Thank you. 
The oil of this moon is the Earthly Roots Magical Anointing Oil. And they have enchanted the oil with juniper, pine, cedarwood, clove oils, as well as oak and willow bark. They have also included a quartz crystal. Tree of Life Earthen Vessel Box. This box has been hand painted and is made from cold cast resin. And the Witch's Moon suggests that you use this box in a sort of ritual spell box way, sort of like a spell jar. So maybe consider what rituals and meditations feel necessary during this time. Think of how we let go and obtain new points of view. Maybe consider how we push past the boundaries of our um, comfort. And they say during this time, place your written intentions into this box. In addition, they recommend going outside and find natural items such as rocks, fallen leaves, etc. and place them in the box um, and document your thoughts in your book of shadows so that's really interesting this is not necessarily um, my aesthetic but the more I look at it the more I like it and I'm going to give it a shot and use it as I would a spell jar but instead a spell box the last half of this video I thought I would try something a little different and show you how I would set up this spell box for a little um, Beltane intentional spell so the next part will just be me working on this little spell and some music thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye
Thank you.